So, um, this is Reaper. I'm coming from Ableton Live. I'm learning Reaper for the first time. There's a couple things, or actually there's a bunch of things I really like about it um, that kind of pick up where Ableton left off. I love Ableton, but there's a couple things that I wish it could do um, that kind of sent me looking at other things. And basically, like all my engineering buddies were like, check out Reaper, 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 Reaper. Like, check it out, it's fucking awesome. And it is. I would, so far, I'm loving it. There's some amazing things. And probably the thing I like, what's what I like the most about it, and also what's kind of daunting, is you can customize it to a crazy extent. You, there's so many things you can adjust in terms of how it behaves, to scripting it, to how it even looks, right? So the first thing I wanted to just get into that I thought would be nice to help other people with because this was an initial frustration is I hated the default scrolling settings, right? But now what I've done, since I'm coming from Ableton, I know that really, really well, um, I've set up Reaper to scroll just like Ableton. So I'm taking my mouse wheel, or in my case, I have the, the magic mouse, nice, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I can scroll left and right with the horizontal motion and then up and down. I can swipe up and down, so it kind of behaves like a, as if you're pushing a piece of paper around a desk. Um, and then I can use the command and mouse wheel to zoom in wherever I put the mouse pointer, which I love. So basically just copying Ableton zoom and scroll behavior. Um, the only thing that's a little different is with the option key, if I want to resize a single track, if I mouse over it, it won't do it, uh, which it will in Ableton. Here you have to select. Um, although if there is a way to do it with a mouse over, I'd love to know about it. But this is fine. Like I just click on the track I want to adjust the height of. If I want to do two, I can do option and a vertical movement. It also works in the trackpad that I have here. I have both in front of me. I like to have both. Sometimes I work with two hands. But um, anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this, right? Uh, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to do, um, and if you're customizing Reaper, you're going to get into this a bunch. Go into the action menu, the actions list, right? And uh, I have a couple notes in front of me if, just so I don't miss anything. So the first thing you're gonna do is search scroll and then sort by the shortcuts, right? These are the two that you want, right? Um, so for view scroll vertically, you're gonna add, just go up here and move the mouse wheel up and down to add that. I'm gonna hit cancel since I've already done it. And then um, you're gonna want scroll horizontally reversed, unless you want it to go the other way. But like, I like it to behave kind of like a, like I said, just like you're pushing a piece of paper. So if I, if I scroll up like this, it's gonna move this way. If I pull down, it's gonna pull down this way, which we test it out, it does, right? Similarly, if I swipe this way, I wanna see the whole thing go like this, which it does, beautiful. So these are the two settings you have to get going there, right? That's the first thing. Uh, scroll vertical. I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I got everything. Scroll vertical. Okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing you need to do, right, is um, you need to get the zoom functionality happening if you want to zoom in on a specific part. I like, like I said, I like to just have it set up so wherever I put the mouse, that's where it zooms. Um, I think it was defaulting to the playhead, which might be some people's cup of tea, but not mine. Because on, on a big project, not so much for a mastering job, which this is, um, but for a mix, I want to be able to fly all around inside the project, right? Um, so I have that, just like Ableton, I have it set up to command and then the mouse, right? So there's going to be a couple things you got to do to get this part going, right? So back into the action menu, right? We're going to go here, right? This time you're gonna search zoom, right? Uh, and you're gonna want this setting. View, zoom horizontally. So when you do command mouse wheel, right? It's gonna, it's gonna expand wherever you're putting that cursor. Well, at first, um, not at first I should say. Um, we have to configure the cursor thing next, right? But this is how you're gonna get this functionality happening. Um, just to, to set it up like Ableton, right? Um, but by default, like I said, I think it's gonna, um, zoom to wherever the playhead or the edit head is. I can't remember which it is. But to change that, we're gonna go into Reaper Preferences, go into Editing Behavior, right? Um, and these are the settings that you should have. For vertical zoom center, 
track under mouse cursor. For a horizontal zoom center, do mouse cursor. Like if I change it to here, edit cursor, right? Now it's gonna zoom where this, this edit cursor is, right? If I go over here, I guess it's still doing it. Maybe I'm gonna have to change it to, well, I forget, whatever. Um, boo, 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 boo. Oh, edit cursor, that's what, I guess because it's changing this. Edit cursor, okay. That's why, well, norm, oh, that's why, okay. So if I just. So anyway, yeah, you want that on mouse cursor, right? And you can hit apply and hit okay. In my case, it's already set up. Oh, that's why it wasn't working, I'm a dummy. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, this is why. It is. I'm sitting there. I was like, maybe did I miss something? Am I screwing up? It okay, right? Now it's just gonna zoom to this. Even if I put the mouse over here, it's still zooming to this. You might want that. I don't. So, here we go. Okay. It's always funny when you're giving a demo and you're like, hey, look at this, and then it doesn't work. Anyway, here we go. So that's Ableton. Um, Ableton like I should say. The last step that you're gonna need is you wanna get this track height adjust, adjustment, which is really handy. Um, it's nice if you can select everything, right? Do one of these and then adjust it all. Or if you wanna do like a group of tracks, this is very handy, right? And I have that set to option and then again, vertical mouse wheel motion, right? Um, so how are you gonna get this going? Again, go to action list. You're gonna search track height. Okay, All right, and this is the option you want to change. View, adjust selected track heights, All right? Um, I think there's probably a way to do it. I'm sure some genius has this figured out, but um, I'm still pretty new in Reaper. I'm still getting situated, so I'm by no means an expert at this. Um, but this is just one of the first things I was like, I need to make this like what I know because it'll, it'll, it'll just speed up my whole workflow if I can use kind of the, like I've been on Ableton for years now, so. Um, if I could navigate the same way, that's like a, a big help, right? Um, so like I said, same deal here. You just select it. You're going to go to add. You're going to hold down option, move your mouse up and down, and then it'll program in the shortcut. Um, and that's it. So hopefully this is helpful. I mean, this was immediately very helpful to me. Um, and the only difference between Ableton and this is in Ableton, you can just put the mouse over the track, hit option, and the mouse wheel and it'll move up and down um and this is this is fine too it's close enough at least for me um so this is this is how i'm doing it um maybe you could teach me something about reaper like i said i'm, I'm still very new so um if you have something to say leave it in the comments um if you want to get more of these you subscribe you know how to do all that stuff um yeah hopefully maybe i'll do more of these maybe I won't we'll see what happens let me know what you think thanks